I'm going to prepare the cream cheese filling for our banana, uh, our yeast banana bread. Start out with one package of cream cheese, left out at room temperature, nice and soft. Inside it goes. I'm gonna add one egg yolk. That was a boo boo. One half cup of sugar. And about a teaspoon of vanilla asterisk. We're just going to whisk all that together. And then we can refrigerate it. Now it looks a little runny at this point, but after we refrigerate it, it's going to stiffen back up, okay? Here I have reserved two cups of pecan pieces. I'm setting these aside until I begin to assemble the final product. I have here three fourth cup of milk, a stick of butter. We're going to add that to the milk. I made sure I softened the butter so that it is easier to melt into the milk. I'm also going to add one cup of sugar. I'm going to warm this and I'm going to melt it all together. Okay, I have here completely dissolved um, the milk, the butter, and the sugar. It's slightly warm, or I should say finger warm. We're gonna set this aside. Three bananas. These are medium size. I'm going to mash them. The tape, bananas all mashed, ready to go. Let's start assembling it. Remaining ingredients, I have six cup of all purpose flour. Three eggs. dry active yeast, and one teaspoon of salt. Okay, in my bowl, I'm going to put two cups of the flour inside. Two tablespoon of the yeast or two package. We're gonna add the salt. And we're just gonna combine that together. I'm going to add two of the eggs. The banana mixture. The wet mixture. I'm using my dough hook and I'm going to start mixing everything. So we're mixing everything in. I have the remainder of the flour and I'll slowly add so that I can get the dough consistency. 
So you're starting to form a dough ball. We're gonna keep mixing that up. I haven't used all the flour yet. Um, and may not need it all. So the remainder of the dough, I'm going to work in with the remaining of the flour. So I used all six cups. Remember, I stated before, sometimes the temperature, the size of the bananas, will change how much flour you'll need. I just want to work this until it's not sticky. Very good. Nice consistency. I have a greased or a oiled um, pan. We're going to place the dough inside. You flip over. And we're going to let this rise. I'm going to cover it up with some saran wrap. The bread has risen. The sour cream mixture. The nuts. One egg. And the oil pan. We're going to put everything together. Okay, guys. So I'm going to dump out my dough. And we're just going to gently begin to work it. I'm just forming it into a, a log, sort of. Now, let me put my pan aside so we can see that at the same time. I'm going to take the bread and I'm just going to cut it in slices. This is going to be a unique and tasty dish. I'm going to guarantee that you've never had banana bread this way. So I have all the pieces. This I'm going to set aside. We'll take this mixture and the nuts. I'm gonna take the bread and I'm gonna just, the dough and just stretch it out. I'm going to run it across the sour cream mixture, and I'm going to dip it in the nuts. I'm going to place that in the pan. And we're going to continue to do this to all the pieces until it's all the way around the pan. Stretch that out, coat it. Get some of that wonderful nut and in the pan. So you see how I'm running it around the pan. Okay, so I'm not quite finished, but I'm going to continue to take this around the pan. Okay, so I have this going around the pan really good. I do have just a little bit of the cream cheese mixture. Don't want anything to go to waste. And I'm only going to run it right along the edges here on the inner portion. So any that's left is going to get put there.
I'm gonna set this aside and I want this to double in size. Let's give it probably another half hour to 40 minutes. Full of cream cheese, nuts, bananas, and this smell awesome. It's been about a half hour. This is doubled in size. And of course I have the egg wash. My oven is heated to about 375. I'm going to give this a nice coating. I'm going to put it in the oven for 30, 35 minutes till nice and golden brown. We're going to guarantee that you have never had banana bread this light, fluffy, delicious, flavorful. This is a recipe that will be unique and you will be the life of the party. So we're gonna go ahead and place this in the oven. Okay, I've just taken the yeast banana bread out of the oven. Isn't this magnificent? I have to let it cool down so that we can get a piece of this. Mm, mm, mm. My mouth is happy and I haven't even touched it yet. Okay, the cream cheese and the nuts. This is more like dinner roll with a little kick. You can taste the bananas. Mmm, very moist. It's not real sugary. I'm going to get a piece that have a lot of cream cheese with the nuts. Mm, mm, mm. This, if I warm it up, I would spread that with butter. Oh, that would go so delicious with this. Awesome. Now this is a yeast-based banana bread. Put on steroids with some sour cream mixture, and some nuts. This you definitely want to give it a try. And is this not beautiful? Oh, this is not beautiful. This is not what you expect out of banana bread, but this is yeast banana bread. Delicious.